Willem Schellings 1627-1678, was a Dutch painter, draftsman and etcher of landscapes and marine scenes and also a poet. Willem Schellings was one of the most widely traveled Dutch artists of his time. He traveled along the Loire and the Seine in 1646, and between 1661 and 1665 he visited England, France, Italy, Malta, Germany, and Switzerland, keeping a record of his travels in multiple landscapes and scenic views as well as a journal. Alternative Spellings Schellinger and Schellings. Life Willem Schellings was born into a family of artists in Amsterdam. He was the son of a surveyor and the brother of Daniel Schellings circa 1627-1701, who was active as an amateur artist. Another brother, Jacob, settled in Southampton, Connecticut colony and took up whaling. After finishing his studies with Carl Dujardin at the age of about 20, he traveled to France with Lambert Dumer in 1646. After that he undertook another journey in 1661-1665 as the guide of a certain minster Jacob Thierry de Jong, a young gentleman on his grand tour. Schellings compiled his drawings and notes about this last journey in three volumes, that remained unpublished, but which he kept for friends to read. The painter engraver Arnoud van Halen acquired these volumes and the Dutch artist biographer Arnold Toebreken was granted permission to read through them himself. This trip, which he began on July 14, 1661, included visits to England, France, Italy, Sicily, Malta, Germany, and Switzerland. He describes the main sites of the cities he visits. His route home from Italy took him from Venice to Padua, over Verona, Mantua, Trento, and Munich. In Munich he visited all of the rooms of the newly built Palace of the Bavarian Counts, and he described all of the paintings and statues he saw there. He then continued on to Augsburg, Regensburg, Nuremberg, Hanau, Frankfurt, Worms, Frankenthal, Heidelberg, Speyer, Strasbourg, Breisach, Basel, Zurich, Baden, Bern, Mainz, Cologne, Mulheim, Dusseldorf, Cleves, Nijmegen, and Utrecht, where he arrived August 23, 1665. Schelling's handwritten journal, written some years after his travels 1661 to 1665 and based on his now lost notes, is preserved in the Royal Library of Copenhagen. A transcription made by Schellings himself is now in the Bodleian Library. The part of the journal covering his trip in England was published in English. The journal forms an important record of the conditions of travel in the 17th century. While Schellings does not offer many insights into his views on art or approach to landscape painting, his description of the art collections in the Roman palaces would have filled a gap in the Dutch travel literature of his time. Schellings may have been commissioned by the Dutch government to make the sketches on his foreign travels, since many of his drawings include strategic points that would have interested the government's intelligence service. Some of them were also used in the compilation of the famous Atlas Play of van der Hem, published in Amsterdam between 1649 and 1673. Work Willem Schellings mainly drew and painted Dutch and Italian views, river and harbour scenes, inns or ancient ruins with resting horsemen and hunting parties. He also painted a number of winter scenes. He borrowed liberally from the style of other artists, particularly of the Italian eight masters. It is likely that his works are so rare because many of them have been wrongly attributed to other painters. After Schellings's death, Frederick de Moucheron completed many of his paintings and added figures to them. An important influence on his work was Jan Asselin. Asselin was chiefly known as a painter of southern the landscapes with ruins, but had in addition developed a new type of winter landscape. Instead of the traditional type of winter landscape, characterized by an addition of planes and crowds of figures, Asselin painted landscapes in which the compositional elements were limited to a few large motifs and some sparse figures, used only to enliven the scene. His main aim was to give a subtle rendering of the winter atmosphere. These winter landscapes formed an important inspiration for Schelling's own compositions. The composition City Walls in Winter Rijks Museum was in fact originally attributed to Ass Ellen. This winter landscape was inspired by Ass Ellen's composition in an English private collection. Schelling's reinterpretation exaggerated the pathetic connotations. Schelling's used his earlier drawings of England as the basis for his paintings of the successful 1667 naval raid by the Dutch on the English fleet at Chatham during the Second Anglo-Dutch War. He depicts the moment when the Dutch triumph by showing an English military contingent arriving too late. Schellings often collaborated with other artists for whom he painted either the landscapes or the figures. For instance, in the mountain landscape with River and Wagon Getty Museum he painted the figures in the landscape by the hand of Herman Na Winks. In the country estate of Burgomaster Nicolaas Pankras Amsterdam Museum, he painted the landscape to which Adrian van de Velde added the figures and animals.